What is going on YouTube? Test here being a Wi-Fi battle against Sarah Bear 69 morning, aka Sarah, my lovely, beautiful, and very sweet girlfriend. Anyways, this is gonna be in the NU tier, and we are taking her on in a rematch in the last NU battle we had. But this time I'm using a different team. I'm using my normal NU team. It's probably probably the better one of the two. And let's review my team. It's Raichu, Mega Auto, Scyther, Lumineon, Pyloswan, and Pyroar. My opponent is Bring Zangus, Sock. Ampharos, Golark, Malamar, and Kangaskhan. This is the same team she used against me last time, but as I just mentioned, I'm using a different team against her. So let's see how this battle all plays out right now. I'm going to leave off my Raichu. She's going to leave off for Zangus. I'm going to go for the fake out, even though it's futile, because she's obviously going to go for the protect to get the um, toxic boost skill, and that she does. So. The Toxic Orb activates badly poisoned Zangus, and Zangus' Toxic Boost will make it really formidable to deal up. She's gonna switch on and go to Golurk. I probably should have saw this coming went for a knockoff, but I didn't want to risk um, her not doing that and taking my Raichu's head off with a facade. But now I can do go for a knockoff and knock off its choice band, figuring that she might actually go for Ice Punch, but nope, she went, goes to Earthquake instead. Thought she would predict the Cypher switch, but rip me. We go to Pyroar. We're gonna go for a choice specs flamethrower with Pyroar, and that will take out Golark. So that's one down on each of his sides. And yeah. Next up comes Sock. Gonna switch Pyroar out. I am gonna go into Angel the Lumineon. I I don't know why I don't go into Scyther here. I honestly don't. But she does go for close combat, which is gonna be a almost a 2-8 KO. I don't know if she low rolls here. But yeah, I'm gonna try to go for a Scald or a U-turn or something, and I just should have switched to Scyther. I don't know what I was doing. So I do make a few mistakes here looking back at the battle, but honestly, I still did my best. And I'm gonna go to Mega Odd now. I'm gonna try to set up a Calm Mind. She's gonna go to Zangus. Now, I did not know this at the time, but her Zangus was packing Poison Jab. So she um, took my advice and put Poison Jab on one or two of her Pokemon's deal with Mega Odd now. And unfortunately for me, she took the advice on the Zangus. Now, I could live two po poison jabs, but sadly, right here, Zangus is going to score a critical hit on Mega Odno, and that is going to suck. So I went for Wish. Unfortunately, um, the Odno sw sweep looks to be bleak, so a second poison jab is going to knock out Mega Odno, and that is rip for me. Her Zango is going to take some more poison damage. I'm going to go into Hell Kaiser with the Pyroar. I am going to go for a Hyper Voice here, and she is going to let her Zango faint because she doesn't want it to go down to a. She doesn't want anything else to take a Hyper Voice with Pyroar. She's going to go to Sock. I am going to switch out and go into my Scyther here, hoping that she does not go for an Ice Punch or a Knock Off, and she does not. She actually goes for a Close Combat. Now, I'm not entirely sure why I went for a Swords Dance. I probably should have went for U-Turn just to predict the switch to Ampharos. But she does go to Elite the Ampharos. And I do go for Sword Dance. And I'm actually going to go for a U-Turn here, hoping that I do not get caught with a stack. Because if I do, I can kiss my win goodbye. So, it does a good chunk of damage. No stack. And I do go to Pylos one, hoping that she'll go for Thunderbolt. So, she actually goes to Power Gem instead. It doesn't do too much. She's going to switch her Ampharos out and go into Sock, which she is very lucky I did not go for an Earthquake. So I go for Rocks. Uh, again, I probably should have went for Earthquake here, but you know. She goes for a knockoff, predicting to switch to Scyther. I do go for Earthquake now. And she's going to go for a knockoff, and I should have went for Ice Shard here. I don't know why. I didn't, and Sock is down. Although I don't really think it, that move matters too much. She's going to go into Malamar. I am going to switch out of swine and go into Scyther and she does I believe go for a superpower and it is time to resist it and I'm gonna go for a U-turn on my Scyther hoping that she'll stay in thinking that her defense boost is enough but she is smart smart and knows that is not the case so she's gonna switch to Ampharos and I need you Scyther not to be paralyzed so I can win but yeah static so, Scyther is now paralyzed, and things are looking very bleak for me. I'm going to switch to a price to Pylos one as my opponent, Sarah, my lovely girlfriend, goes into Kangaskhan. And I'm going to switch Pylos one out, because I do believe this thing might have a fighting type move or something. And I'm going to switch into Scyther. She goes to her fake out, 
It doesn't do too much, and she's gonna go for a sucker punch as I try to go for a U-turn. But I am fully paralyzed, and now I'm gonna go for Roost. She's gonna go for a frustration here. It's not gonna take out Scyther. I do get my HP back, so I probably should have played some Roost mind games here. But I don't think it would have mattered either way. So Sucker Punch and U-turn on the Kangaskhan is not gonna do a whole lot. But I'm gonna go right to the price the pilot spine, and I'm gonna try to get a Ice Shard off as she does go for Sucker Punch. Doesn't take a pilot spine out. But it does enough damage to put it in the range where something else will take it out. So, Hellas One is down. Next out comes Pyroar. Gonna go for that nice Choice Specs Hyper Voice and hope that it will take out not only the King of Skull, but also the Malamar that's still alive. Hyper Voice does take out the King of Skull, and I have to really pray that Hyper Voice takes out the Malamar of Choice Specs, although she could be Assault Vested, and that's gonna be a big problem for me. So, Hyper Voice on Mal Malamar doesn't take it out. No! The 16 HP left. Superpower does knock out Py Pyroar, and that is unfortunately GG because I don't believe that at plus one, Melmar will not take out Sector with a Psycho Kai. She does go for the Psycho Kai, Evil Light or not, Sector is down, and that is G. So, very good game, Sarah. And I did make a few mistakes here. For starters, I wish I did predict that switching to Golark right. I also wish I did not um, switch keep Lumineon in on the um, Sock. That was another big mistake that cost me the match. It's a bit of a learning curve, but I do have to say, the paralysis on Scyther did not help at all, but, you know, RNG is part of the game, and Sarah did prepare for the Mega I know, and she did deserve this win, so good game, honey. Great battle, and hope you guys enjoyed this battle as well. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you guys next time for some more fantastic Wi-Fi battle action. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Whoop, whoop.